Welcome to Fanny Magnet. Right now in this video, I'll show you how you can troubleshoot when you're getting no entry sign when you are turning on your MacBook Pro. And this can happen with all the MacBook like MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, okay? So what happened when you turn on, you get a, a no entry sign on the boot. So let, let me show you how that error look like. So I just turn on the Mac now. So the first thing you get this Apple logo. So as you see that, let me put the camera to zoom. So you see that. So this is what this Mac, it is happening with this Mac. So I haven't done any kind of troubleshooting now, till now. I just pick up, you know, I just uh, took this laptop from a customer and I'm going to do a troubleshoot on this and we'll see, we'll try to find out what exactly the problem is and how we can fix that. Now, the very first step you have to do, that is you have to try SMC reset, okay? The second, PRAM reset okay so doing SMC and PRAM reset is very simple you can check more information about this on Google and right now I have tried you know the SMC reset and PRAM reset but it did not work on this uh, now uh, there is a possibility you know there is a problem with this keyboard also because when I try to boot using my external hard drive okay in this uh, hard drive i have kept um, mac operating system so that you know to for testing i always plug this and i try to boot with this but i was not able to go in the boot menu okay so there is a possibility that there is a problem with the keyboard and even the customer initially you know uh, when when he called me he also said me that there is something wrong with the keyboard so but again I have one external keyboard also you know for Mac I tried this also but it is not working so the first step what I'm going to do uh, for you know if you are facing this the first thing the possibly uh, the first thing you have to do SMC reset PRAM reset then third it could be a possible issue with the operating system okay so first try to tackle all this uh, issue related with the software so try to reinstall operating system or reset your Mac something like that fourth possibility is it could be a rela issue related with the hard drive fifth possibility it could be issue related with the SATA cable the you know the cable which is there in the Mac I'll show you that sixth possibility is the motherboard okay so the first thing I'm going to open this up and we'll see how you know how this goes okay so let's I have already removed all the screws okay from the back and the very first I always do that is disconnecting the battery let me position the camera So by the way there is huge dust okay you see that so generally like you know once a year if you clean your Mac it's really good idea so the very first uh, what I'm going to do here is so the uh, the first option what i'm going to do i'm going to open you know my external drive in which i have mac os and i'm going to plug that hard drive here directly so that i can understand if there is a, any problem with the hard drive okay that's the first troubleshoot i always do So here is the hard drive which was there in that uh, the portable which I made for testing the Mac in this one. 
so I have disconnected the oh, so I have disconnected the cable okay now okay uh, before we start this I think we must also try by cleaning the RAM okay because uh, I have seen many times that sometime you know the RAM is a culprit so let so first I'll open the RAM the RAM looks perfectly fine but still what I'm going to do I'm going to put only one RAM here okay and I'm going to test it and I'm going to use a brand new RAM so that I can make sure that there is no problem with this anyway this I don't think this troubleshoot is related with that but still I always do to eliminate the possibilities So here is a new RAM, so here is a new RAM which I keep for myself, you know, for testing, okay. So I plug, plug back the, the battery, now let's turn on and let's see. As I said, the possibility is less, but I always do the this thing in order to make sure that there is no possibility of a RAM now. So we have to move further. So once again, disconnect the battery first. Now, opening hard drive is very simple. You can check my other video in which uh, you know I have explained how you can do. and i always keep this kind of magnet handy you know so that the screw don't go anywhere just for info just for your information you really don't need to remove these screws only these two screws are good enough to pull the hard drive Here we go. So this is the original hard drive which is installed in the Mac. So I'm going to put this one and let's see. Here we go. And we'll put the things back. Put the battery back. Close the lid and let's try to turn on. So as you can see, it's, it turned on and let's see now how it goes. And just for your information, this is a MacBook Pro of uh, I think it's 2010. And it has i5 processor, 500 GB of a hard drive and 4 GB of a RAM.
So you see that? I know the password because uh, if you see here, I have, you know, put the name as Mac Portable. So the password is one, I know that. So, okay. The, key, the keyboard has some issues, okay? But it, if it's coming till here, okay, one more important thing to notice, let me show you. If you see here, it went in safe boot, okay? Now, the reason, Okay, let me put the camera. Now, uh, if you see, it is going in safe boot, okay? Now, the reason it is going in safe boot because I think the shift key is pressed. And I think that was the reason it was not allowing me to boot from, you know, uh, when I plugged the, this, uh, this hard drive uh, from USB, okay? So the keyboard has a problem, that's for sure, okay? So there is no doubt on that. Now the point is, oh, everything is, is okay on this. Keyboard is faulty and second, there is a possibility of a operating system or a hard drive, okay? Looking to the hard, uh, hard drive, I don't think, you know, mm, you know, there could be a possibility of, a, you know, damage with the hard drive because this is a new hard drive which is, you know, uh, manufactured in, Okay, you see that it's manufactured in 2014 so that's uh, only 2015 and 16 that's only two years I don't think so it's a confirm issue with the operating system and the keyboard so I have already brought the keyboard here you see that that's a this is a new keyboard which I'm going to install. I have already made the video on how to install keyboard in MacBook Pro. You can do check that video. The link is in below description. And uh, as I said, if you get this kind of issue, the first possibility is SNC PRAM, or then you can definitely go with the RAM and then you have to come and come to the hard drive. Now, in case if this hard drive would have not worked properly, then I would have considered the cable, okay? The SATA cable which is there so I would have tried another cable like that and so on so this is how you troubleshoot your MacBook Pro when you're getting a no entry sign so if you think this video was helpful for you hit the like button for more more such kind of video you can subscribe to the channel and as always thank you for watching the video have a wonderful day